Hello, Debbie here. Welcome back to Barossa Valley Crafts. Today we're going to make a circle easel card. So this is the one I've done. So it looks like that when it's closed. And it will pop up and hook onto there to stand up. So that's how it looks from the top. <coughs> and that's how it will look from the front. So it's an easy card to make. Um, <clears throat> it is a lot easier if you have a die machine and um, circle dies. If not, you can do the same thing if you've got a compass and just do your circles with a compass and cut them out with a pair of scissors. But um, easy enough to do. So let me show you how I have done this one. So to start off with... I have a piece of um, cardstock that is six by 12 inches, and then I'll fold it in half to make a six by six card. Then I put my die onto the card, making sure that it overhangs where the fold is, because that fold, that's how it will open. So make sure you have it so it's over that fold. So you run through your die machine and you will end up with this. I'll just get those other bits out of there. So that's what you will end up with once you've die cut it out. Once you've done that, open it out and fold the top of the card down to your fold line and burnish. Give it a nice fold there. So that will be <clears throat> what your next piece will stand on when we're doing the actual easel card. Now I've already gone ahead and cut out the, all the pieces I need. So with the inside, so each circle is a quarter of an inch less. So the original base card is five and three quarters of an inch. Then the first mat layer is five and a quarter. Oh, so actually that's half an inch difference. So five and a quarter. And then the next mat layer <coughs> is it's just between the four and three quarters and five. And then the next mat layer is four and a half. So what I've done is attack or put my first mat layer on there and then I've drawn a line and cut it with a pair of scissors so that it will be able to close. Then I've done that with the second layer and I'll show you how I do it. So I lay the card in place and I work out where I want to cut it and draw a line and then just cut that off with the scissors and that will now sit in there. So we'll just pop that in to place. So for this one, I'm using the Couture Creations Quick Dry Adhesive. It's got a bit of wiggle space, which is what I need a lot of the time doing this sort of thing to make sure I maneuver the paper into place. And we'll just pop that down. So when I was cutting out these circles, I've done two of each colour, so this magic will be the same on the outside that it is on the inside. This one I did a little bit differently, so I've only just done the same, the top layer there is the same as the one on the inside, but this one I've done the layers the same as what the front will be. Then I've cut three smaller circles being two and a quarter inches, then oh, 
it's between one and three quarters and two. And then the third one is one and a half inches. Then on the back, I've drawn a line because I'm going to cut that in half. So I'll use my guillotine here and I'll just line up that line. So obviously I've glued them together first. So I glued them together and then cut it in half. So that's going to be going inside here for this to sit on. So I need some double-sided foam tape. And I'll just put that onto here now, ready for when we need it. Okay, so that will get stuck into there in a bit when we're ready. And that will then hook onto that. So now with the top, the front, so I have cut out just a plain card, the same size as the base. This, we're going to put glue on the bottom half of that circle and that will sit over that. So it will then pop up like so. Once it's all attached, I think you can see that there. So before we do that, we're going to put all the mats and layers on there. So I've already stuck these ones together to save a bit of time. And we'll just put this one onto here. And then we'll just pop the glue on there. Try not to do what I just did then. I've just gone over the edge with the glue. Try not to get it too close to the edge, otherwise when you push it down, it will ooze out. And put that in the center of the front of the card. Push it into place. Now, we're going to attach that to the front of the card. So just put glue on the bottom half of your folded circle. You can use double-sided tape if you prefer. And so that will line up exactly over the top of that. And just press that into place. So now that will sit up like so. So you can see there how that goes together. Now we're going to decorate it. So what I've done is using um, this lemon craft paper pad, I've just gone through and fussy cut out some flowers and some little leaves. And we're going to use that to decorate it with it. This is it's got some beautiful papers in here. It's a page of sentiments, but yeah, there's some gorgeous papers in these pads. I've got another one here. This would be great for babies, <laughs> some of the pictures, but yeah, they're just beautiful papers and great for fussy cutting and that sort of thing. Okay, so that should be ready to work with. So using the die, I cut out this piece and then I fussy cut the flowers. And I've added double-sided foam on there and I'm going to attach that to there. So you can put it straight down if you want to, but for this particular one, I just wanted it to have a little bit of dimension. So I'll just get this backing paper off. While I'm doing this, I'll just let you know that I do have a couple of Facebook pages. One is called Card Making for Beginners and Beyond. The other one is called Barossa Valley Crafts. And if you'd like to join us, you're more than welcome. 
there's lots of people there and we share hints, tips, ideas and there to help each other with our creations. And we're not limited to brands, so you can use any brand of item there. So I'm just lining that up with that circle. And pushing that into place. Now what I've got here, I've got some little paper rose flowers. So I'm going to put those on here, just for something different. Um, I have got boxes and boxes of these little flowers and I very rarely use them and I thought it's about time I started using some of this stuff. So we'll pop those there and then some little leaves that I fussy cut out earlier, we'll put those in here as well. And I've got a bling here. Yeah, we might even use that yet. Now when I cut the metal, the um, stems off the flowers, so when you get the flowers, they've got, oh, it's a bit dark, isn't it? Let me bring my light around, see if that helps. Um, when I've cut the stems off, I bend them and then cut it. And I'll just push that down to make sure that the flower is not going to come apart. But then what I do with this part is I get a skewer and wrap that bit of wire around the skewer. Just be careful though because they can be very sharp. And then I use those for decoration on the card. So I've got some here, so I'll show you how we're going to use those soon. So once you've worked out where you want everything, we'll then glue them into place. So I might grab my tweezers if I can find them. Just makes it a bit easier to put them into place. Glue is nearly empty. I use this quite a bit, so I go through a lot of it. So I'm just going to glue all these into place. So with these cards, obviously, you, you just use what you've got in your stash. So you don't have to go out and buy special papers and things. Just make do with what you've got. I'm not having much luck here. I'm getting glue everywhere. I've got it all over my tweezers now. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. I should have seven there. They reckon you should always work in odd numbers when you're doing this sort of thing. So I've got another one there, so we'll pop that on as well. Trying to get it in a circular shape to match the card. Okay. Just make sure they're stuck into place. And then we'll add the little leaves. So with that one, I'm going to use um, this glue. So this is an all-purpose art glue because it's got the fine tip on it, which is better when you're putting glue on little areas. So let's see, we go one there. So you're only limited by your imagination when it comes to this. And like I say, just using what you've got in your stash. So, I mean, if you've got just a compass and you don't have the dye machine, 
just with your compass and pencil, you can do your circles. So it can be done without a lot of equipment if you wanted to do it. Now I'm still debating whether to put that bling on there or not. Now with these little twisty bits, I'll try and do them so that the pointy part is facing down. So I might put one there. And another one there. Couple down the bottom as well. So if we can turn that one over so the points are down. I'm guessing if you're adding these little twirly bits, it's probably something that you don't want in the mail because it could uh, tear your packaging unless you've got it in a box. Just pop these into place. I haven't done cards like this for a long time. I used to do this sort of thing quite regularly and then yeah, new things come and old things get put aside. So it's good to be able to get back to them occasionally. You can if you want to, if you've got um, the dies and that, you can add like um, dies, cut out leaves and flourishes and things as well to decorate. What I'm trying to do here is hoping you can use things that you've got in your stash so you don't have to go out and buy more equipment. Especially if you're new to card making, it's very easy to get carried away buying stuff. I've been there, done that, and I'm trying not to buy much these days. We've got so much here. The trouble is, there's always new things coming out. <laughs> I've got to try them. Okay. I've got glue all over my fingers now. Now, I think I might put that bling on there. So we'll just put some glue there. So I like a bit of bling. There we go. Now, I'll just close that and put my stopper back in this one so it doesn't dry out. Now I've got some little pearls here as well. So I'm going to put some pearls. Let's get the glue off the end of my tweezers. I'm going to pop some pearls in the centres of the flowers. Didn't get the sticky bit with it. Try again. Now what I'm also going to do is I've got some glossy accents here. I'm just going to add some little drops around of glossy accent. And when it dries, it stays like in a dome shape and it's clear. So it'll look like little drops of water around. That's probably, uh, I'll put one on this one as well. You've got to remember to leave it though because it takes a little while to dry. So you've got to allow time for it to dry. And then I'm using a Wink of Stella clear brush here. And I'm just going to pat some around on the flowers just to give them a little bit of shine. Hopefully the camera's picking that up okay. It's nice stuff this. Just adds a little bit of bling and a bit of shine. And that's it. Now I don't know how we'll go. Oh, hang on. 
I forgot to put the bit in for it to stand up with. That's all right, we can do it now. So I'll just remove the backing tape. I should have done this before I decorated the front. Never mind, we live and learn. Okay. So we've got, oops. Oh, that was lucky, it missed all the other bit. Oh, I might just do it with my fingers. Let's see how we go. Hopefully nothing's going to slide out of place when I do this. So then just working out where you want it to stand. And then just put that in place. And then on the inside here, do this very gently you can do your sentiments and your greetings on the inside or you can put them on the back if you wanted to and that's it all finished so there it is from the top and there it is from the front what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to leave it closed until it's all dry so nothing slides around out of place anyway I hope you've enjoyed that if you have do give me the thumbs up and please feel free to come and join us on the in the Facebook groups. I'll add the links into the description. And thank you for joining me. Bye.